ओम ज्ञान ज्ञानांजन शिलाकया चक्षुरु मिलित तस्म श्री गुरव नम नम ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण प्रस्था भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य सतारिणे नमो महावदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामिने गौरतिसे नम हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांता राधा कांता नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे बृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाचाकल्पतरुवश्य कृपा सिंधु व्यच पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवासादी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे मुखम करोति वाचाल पंगु लंघा ते गिरी यत्पा तम वंदे श्रीगुरुदीनतारिण श्रीपरमानंदमाधव श्रीचैतन्यमीश्वर ओके हरे कृष्ण सो वट डिट वी डिस्कस लास्ट क्लास एनी वन रिमेम्बर्स एनी थिंग एनी वन वुड लाइक टू वॉलंटियर टू स्पीक समथिंग एंड इन लाइट इन ऑल ऑफ अस प्लीज रेज योर हैंड ओके निधि माता जी इज रेजिंग हैंड वॉन्ट्स टू स्पीक uh prabhu ji you first explained about uh, brahma's uh, lineage like brahma had satarupa and swambhu they had three daughters uh devbhuti who married kardana akuti who you said you will be telling which whom he married and prastuti who married daksh daksh had 15 daughters last one was sati 16 who married shiva and he had two sons uttanpa And Priyavratra, Varratra. Yeah. Priyavratra became Brahmachari, and Uttan Path story. Now you would be telling. He married two queens. One was Suruchi, and one was Suniti. Suniti had son Dhruva, and Suruchi had son Uttama. And uh, you were uh, just uh, briefly starting telling about uh, uh, what was the context, as in. Um, um, that uttan uttanapath was playing with his son uttama and dhruva got tempted to go to his father's lap and then uh, okay 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 to... i let others also speak oh okay <laughs> yeah I, yes poonam mathi ji wants to speak hey yeah it to be uh, one by one uh, uh took the characteristics of uttanapath and suchi And what were their thoughts? So, the Danapath was actually driven by lusty desires, and that mm. is why it mm. gave Suruchi the control of uh, mm. mind, and she she mm. had such hard words. Mm. So uh, Danapath was uh, weak. Not yes, uh, and Suruchi, uh, our Suruchi, actually like our uh, bad desires or whatever uh, mm. come in the path of Suruchi. Mm. Principles. Yeah, so we discussed about how uh, our ruchi, our desires, should not come in the path of niti. When our right principles come, uh, uh, when our wrong desires come in the uh, path of right principles, uh, that is what is called distraction. That's what we were discussing. Yeah. Yes, Udit Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Pramila, Nandan. We also discussed about the power uh, which mm. men and women have 
Hmm. The women have the power to control over the men, and they have to be uh, channelized in the right way. Hmm. So, and also, so who has men, to channelize women's power in the right way? Uh, so, to help the husband in progressing spiritually. No, nee, the question is who has to channelize women's power in the right way. It is whose responsibility. It is husband's uh, responsibility. No, it is whose responsibility to channel. Oh, no. No, it is whose responsibility to channelize women's power in the right way. Women's power. Women's only. Yes, it is women's responsibility. If you have got a power, don't blame it that my guru was not responsible to tell me how to use that power. My husband was not responsible. My wife is not responsible. Don't play the blame game. If you have to get the power, it is your responsibility to learn how to use that power responsibly. Otherwise, you are supposed to be persecuted by the nature. So it is our responsibility to learn. the ignorance is no excuse in material nature if you are lighting a fire it is your responsibility to learn how to handle the fire you cannot say oh, i was not knowing sorry fire excuse me fire is not going to excuse so similarly women have a power which is like fire men also have a power which is like fire so women have to use and we we are going to see in the end of this story almost half of the uh, half of the middle of the story how suruchi uh, had to face wrong consequences because of what she is doing now right yeah so this the women that have to take that responsibility and unfortunately in today's society women are very 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 callous and irresponsible in handling this power they think that uh, it is our choice how i how we dress they think that it is our choice how we behave so women have become very very irresponsible in handling the power and who is going to suffer definitely the society is going to suffer but along with that the maximum suffering is going to come to the woman back as we see in the case of suruchi so when we give today's verse is about that only when we give uh, uh, suffering to someone it is we who suffer the most suruchi thought that i will give some suffering to dhruva but it is suruchi who suffered in the end the maximum yeah yes Uh, anyone? Yes, Sabda Sachi Pro wants to speak something. Then, then we we'll start today. Yes, sir. Hmm. In fact, uh, we've been discussing it uh, that women and uh, small children, than old age people, they need protection and the cows also. Hmm. Now, considering the today's world, probably uh, it would not be wise to blame women in for everything hmm. because. probably we have not given that kind of culture mm-hmm. maybe at home mm-hmm. when she is a daughter mm-hmm. uh maybe a sister mm-hmm. or maybe a wife mm-hmm. that what is to be done what not to be done mm-hmm. so maybe uh, there is equal responsibility also with the man also mm-hmm. how women behave mm-hmm. because we know that they need to be protected yeah so so th- that is why i think you missed last entire class uh, 60% of the class we were giving the responsibility to man i think you missed uh, the point we were discussing in the last class that how his holiness bhakti brihad bhagavata maharaj was speaking that how the entire society is in chaos because the brahmacharya ashram is not in place and because the men are not trained in brahmacharya principle that is why uh, women are tempted and allured to behave in the way they are behaving so definitely there is equal responsibility for men and women but uh, we cannot just say that men are only responsible or we cannot say that women are only responsible men are responsible in their own place 
women are responsible in their own place everyone has to understand and act based on their individual responsibilities but in comparison the scripture says that men are more responsible than women that is what scriptures finally conclude that it is always men who uh, create uh, who are more response for any anything that happens i think that's what we discussed last class anything that yes, happens yes. on a comparison men yes. are more responsible but just to uh, tell that men are more responsible that does mean that women are not at all responsible they are also responsible on their own way yeah so this is what we were discussing and when all these things happened everything it came uh, uh, upon dhruva and uh, uttanapad was not speaking anything vishwanath chakravarti thakur says that how uttanapad was uh, weak uh, in front of suruchi and that's why he didn't speak and that that actually disturbed dhruva a lot that's what maitreya muni said uh, last class also we discussed that sloka that uh, dhruva was disturbed because of the silence of uttanapad <clears throat> he was expecting justice because uttanapad is a king okay forget about uh, dhruva as a uh, son as a king it is his responsibility to see that uh, everyone is given justice right so dhruva was thinking that how can my father who is the king of not just a country or a continent or not just one planet he is the king of the entire bhumandala entire jambu dwipa it's a big track of big place so how this person is not uh, helping me to get justice it is the responsibility of the king so let me go to queen my mother my mother loves me so much she will give me justice and like that dhruva thinking and becoming very angry and all throughout the way from one palace from sulichi's palace to suniti's palace dhruva was crying and crying heavily and went and dhruva went and suniti saw if you see small boy crying immediately you take to the lap right and to caress so immediately suniti took dhruva to lap and said tell 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 what happened what happened did you fall down somewhere what happened tell me and dhruva was not telling anything just breathing hot air and crying and then some other people maid servants who were there in suruchi's palace they had heard what happened they came running and said to suniti that this happened and when suniti heard she also could not control herself uh, and sukhdev goswami uh, after one or two shlokas speaks that how suniti became just like a creeper when a creeper is there in the forest when it gets affected by a forest fire how the creeper will behave so similarly suniti also started breathing very heavily and uh, she was also feeling lot of grief and she was she was really 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 hurt really hurt but we see how suniti though she is hurt how to behave in a reversal situation we are going to learn today so first lesson that we learn from dhruva section is how distractions can create uh, dangers in our life in our spiritual life and we must uh, give away the distractions distractions the definition of distractions we saw that when our wrong habits come in the path of right principles when suruchi comes in the path of suniti that is what a distraction so that's what we discussed last class and today we will be discussing what should be our disposition imagine we face some reversal like suniti is facing dhruva is facing <clears throat> we all go through uh, uh, situations like this yes how many of you have been insulted or like 
I don't think anyone who is there would not raise hand that I was never insulted in life and no one uh, spoke any harsh word to me. No one behaved uh, uh, harshly with me. Everyone just uh, was, was willing with love and anyone is there like that, some unique species. <laughs> So we all go through experiences where uh, we um, we are spoken very very harsh words, sometimes sometimes insulting words, whether in family or outside and everything. But we see how we can behave when we go through reversals uh, in life, whether it is a physically reversal when we are going through a physical reversal, or when we are going through a mental or emotional reversal like Dhruva and Suniti. So we will see today. So we will take this verse, two, three verses we'll take. Actually, we will go very slow these uh, verses because these verses are uh, very, very special, very, very special. Okay. Yeah. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Yeah, one devotee can recite. Dirgham Swasanti Brijina Syaparam Apashati Bala Kamahavala Apashati Bala Kamahavala Mamangalam tata pare sumam stha. Mamangalam tata pare sumam stha. Bhung te jano yat paradu kadasta. Bhung te jano yat paradu Someone else. Dirgham Swasanti Brijina Shyaparam. One, one, one. Okay, anyone? Dirgham Swasanti Brijina Shyaparam. Apashati Balakama Havala. Apashati Balakama. Ma mangalam tata pare shumam stha. Ma mangalam tata pare shumam stha. Bhung te jano yat paradu kadasta. Bhung te jano yat paradu kadasta. See, dirgham swasanti brijinasya param. Dirgham Swasanti. <laughs> so, uh, when Suniti uh, heard this, she also started breathing heavily. Why she started breathing heavily so much? Can anyone guess or say? Why she was also? Yes. Huh? Yeah. Yes, because her father, unke, unke pita ji unko nahi support ne, that is that. No, no, no. This is this is about this is about Suniti. Suniti is uh, being spoken here. Yeah, Sama Priya Mataji. Yes. Maybe she was feeling betrayed, Prabhu. Okay, she is feeling betrayed. No, no. But um, uh, just uh, some uh, her son was affected. But why she is so affected? Okay, with this too. Okay, anger. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe like a king is uh, favoring the second wife more. Okay, king is favoring the second wife. That that she will tell. But why she is breathing heavily? Because and uh, because Dhruv did not uh, tell anything about what. Happened. I don't think you never stayed in a family or what. <laughs> you're like you're. Uh, 
answers are so impractical and uh, unreasonable because C would huh yeah huh. because it was knowing what is happening but okay. today uh, uh, like she was going out of the partiality that was mm. happening to her but now that has come to the sun also so okay, it was okay. the last limit of the okay, party last she, limit so okay okay yeah, so last limit okay so last okay so last limit 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 Other than the first guru of the class, oh yes, uh-huh. someone is like saying like that to the uh-huh. son. Obviously, that is come to the mother first. Okay, that's that's a come to the mother first. Yes, Madhur Prabhu. Hare Krishna, Prabhu ji. I think Prabhu ji, she 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 doesn't know how to react to the situation. Okay, she Prabhu doesn't Prabhu. know how to react to the situation. To the situation. Okay, okay. So this actually Prabhu last. Uh, Prabhu, I was going to Rama and uh, in uh-huh. fact I am quite taking you. Uh, You know that mantra came to Kaki mm-hmm. and uh, that incarnation of Ram is, you know, of the, you know, uh, Ram has declared as the king. Mm-hmm. She was also breathing. Mm-hmm. So the lecture was, uh, you know, uh, the uh, uh, person who was telling it, he said, mm-hmm. uh, "Women, when they breathe, mm-hmm. they feel some injustice has been done." Okay. So because mantra, mm-hmm. uh, similarly here maybe uh, Suniti. Mm-hmm. Uh, See, is thinking some injustice has okay, been done. Okay, see, see, maybe that injustice. is the emotional went out yeah. of, you know, how breathing. Okay, so you see, thinking some injustice has been done. So, uh, okay, so Kriti Mahatmaji, last. Yes, that is the first reaction of women when. Okay, that's the first reaction of women. I am a woman. I know how I how women react. Okay. So, so this emotion. of uh, uh, suniti shows that she also has heard a lot from suruchi and now when it has started on dhruva she is feeling ki mere ko to jo bolti thi bolti thi mere ko to jo karte the karte the abhi mere bacche they have started exploiting my son you are understanding the emotions you understand two ladies who are co wives and staying in one palace or uh, together i don't that's what i am telling if you are you are quite impractical as if you have not or maybe currently there are no experiences much of co wives but uh, um, i have seen one example of co wife but very very friendly very friendly uh, very very friendly my uh, nani ji is Um, maternal grandmother's brother had two wives and what friendship they had what friendship my goodness it's like uh, un uh, precedented uh, unbelievable <laughs> so but uh, imagine two co wives and already last class we discussed so much about the tensions and everything so uh, suniti as a mother she is breathing so heavily because of the thoughts that are going on just imagine for so long she would have stayed with uttanapad and then this lady would have come and how the tensions would have grown uh, between both of them and how suniti would have been neglected and all those things are there definitely and how suruchi it's not that suruchi would not have told anything to suniti so those things were there cold war hot war would have gone so that was fine for suniti as a mother but now this has come to my son chi 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 what my husband is doing okay theek hai you know see, he is little attached to um, uh, my co wife and just fine you know i am not that beautiful i am not that great i am not this i am not that but what this little boy did so these are the emotions of suniti which is uh, making her breathe so heavily that now uh, my uh, uh, son is also joined uh, 
uh, this uh, uh, this thing of uh, getting tortured or what we, I have gone through now he is also going to go through what I am going to do now what I am going to do now I could tolerate how this little boy will tolerate how my son will tolerate you are understanding the emotions please understand what's going on see let's let's dive deep into the characters because it's a very very important pastimes let's let's understand the emotions that the characters of Srimad Bhagavatam are going through. So, Dirgham Swasanti Brijinasya Param, right? Like, uh, he is able to, Brijinasya means danger. She is able to see the danger ahead also. That my goodness, I have gone through so much of torture. Is this what my son will also have to go through? What I went through? Apashyati Balakam, right? Uh, danger that is going to come to his Balakam, to her son. Ahavala, see, uh, as a lady, she cannot do also anything. Imagine, she is able to see the danger, but you cannot uh, do anything for the danger. Then you will be more uh, feeling uh, uh, fearful, right? Imagine, you are able to see the danger. But you are not able to do anything for the danger. You will become more fearful. That's the natural uh, thing that will happen to any person who is very, very uh, uh, fearful. Why he is fearful? Why he is fearful? Because he is helpless. He cannot do anything. Now, but you see what Suniti is. So, the second thing we are uh, going to discuss is disposition. The right dispositions towards reversals in life. So this is the two lines we will discuss first. Ma mangalam tata parestu mamstha ma amangalam. So the first thing one has to do when one is put in reversal, or what? What is the? Okay, let's let's take it another way. What is the first thing? Imagine someone insults you or uh, someone uh, tells you something or someone is harsh, harsh with you and you have no fault. What is the first thing that comes in your mind? Okay, Udit Prabhu wants that I'll punch her on the face. <laughs> okay. Hari Bol. Huh? Huh? Yes, Hari Bol. Who is speaking? Yes, Prabhu. The first thing that should come from me is the Okay. Okay. So first thing that uh, should come is that this is because of our past karma. But does it come? <laughs> Everyone is shaking head like this. <laughs> so what it comes? I am asking. Okay. Sama Priya Mata is telling just anger, nothing else. Just anger. <laughs> okay. Just anger comes. Okay. What else? Nidhi Mata. Okay, very good. Huh? Kushal Vihari Prabhu is telling that uh, Nidhi Mata is telling revenge. But how revenge? The first thing that comes is curse. Uska kuch amangal ho jai, correct? Huh? You did so much, you will see. You will all see that <laughs> how great Vaishnava I am and how he has done a great Vaishnava Prad. And you will see the entire, uh, he is not him or her, the entire family will get devastated. <laughs> this is height of arrogance, huh? yes? Uh, thinking that you are great Vaishnav and because he offended us, he offended you and uh, the entire family will get devastated. <clears throat> or if you are not a devotee, then the general thing comes is that let some amangal happen in that person's life. So the first thing that one has to refrain from, somehow or other uh, restrain uh, is, what Suniti is telling is, Ma Amangalam. Ma means never, don't. You see, na? Ma Phalesu Kadachana. Krishna is telling, na? don't aspire for fruits. Similarly, Ma means don't, so because uh, Suniti was very concerned, Suniti was concerned that what Dhruva is thinking within. 
डेफिनेटली ध्रुवा वुड बी थिंकिंग मर जाए मेरी सौतेली माँ लेट डेथ कम अपॉन माई स्टेप मदर लेट दिस उत्तम ऑल्सो डाय लेट दिस उत्तान पाद माई फादर यू नो बिकम वीक एंड हाउ वीक सी आर सो सी तो सुनीति इज थिंकिंग बिकॉज ध्रुवा इज नॉट स्पीकिंग एनी थिंग ध्रुवा इज जस्ट क्राइंग सो सुनीति इज थिंकिंग दैट लेट ध्रुवा नॉट थिंक ऑल्सो बैड अबाउट suruchi and my husband and uh, uh, my son uttama just see how uh, what a noble lady is suniti you see ha huh? so that is why her uh, story is in shrimad bhagavatam and at the end you will see that dhruva had to go through so many tapasyas and got darshan of vishnu then uh, dhruva went back to godhead but suniti just went back to godhead because of her such noble qualities of sowing the right path to dhruva in the ma- horrible reversal right so we can understand what a noble lady suniti is that uh, she is directing dhruva and thinking that l- let my son not think any wrong about uh, suruchi or my husband or my son uttama दो सुरुचि कंसीडर्स दैट ध्रुवा इज नॉट माय सन बट सुनीति इज कंसीडरिंग उत्तम एज हर सन ओनली सुनीति इज कंसीडरिंग सुरुचि एज हर ओनली राइट सुनीति इज कंसीडरिंग उत्तान पद एज हर ओनली दो दे डोंट कंसीडर हर बट सी कंसीडर्स हर एज माय ओन फैमिली ओनली सो दिस इज ए वैष्णवा so many people may hurt us so many people may insult us so many people may go against us and speak negative about us and speak lies about us and all those things may happen but we should remain a vaishnava right just because someone else has transgressed the principles of uh, proper principles that does not give us a adhikar to transgress our principles like recently in uh, uh, when i was speaking uh, like this uh, in uh, universe then uh, i think one devotee asked that what we should do so uh, g- g- so we should let ourselves get exploited so so these principles are not just told to just let yourself get exploited but what we are speaking is first we need to have the right disposition even if we are seeking justice in a situation still we should have right disposition imagine shrinita das or bihari govindas or someone else let's say bihari govindas did some wrong to someone and the other person is so hurt that he is seeking justice but even while seeking justice there is a way to do it it's not that we can have anything and everything there is a right disposition so here suniti uh, is uh, telling ma mangalam never desire never desire wrong tata oh my son paresu mamstha never mamstha matlab uh, desire paresu never desire wrong for the other person bhum te jano yat par dukha dasta understand that if you desire anything wrong for someone anyway you will get it back again bhum te jano yam par dukha dasta one who gives dukha to others anyway he has to suffer the most he will get back the pain so why we have to think about amangalam imagine i uh, i uh, uh, curse you then ultimately i am going to suffer can anyone say that who all cursed and uh, desired amangalam for someone else and they ultimately got the suffering can you give some examples durvasa to amrish maharaj durvasa he cursed and who got suffering durvasa then ओके पावन कृष्ण प्रभु सौगुरी मुनि प्रेड टू कर्स डोरा बट 
सर सौबरी मुनि स्टार्ट कर सिंह गरुड़ा एंड हु कॉट समस्या प्रॉब्लम सौबरी मुनि यस वन मोर श्रृंगी श्रृंगी कष्ट बट हाउ श्रृंगी कॉट द रिएक्शन बैक शिवा He only got so understand this that uh, maybe uh, uh, he would have because Daksha is what Daksha is uh, would be uh, Mosa no Fufa Fufa uh, what Daksha would be Prashuti uh, Prashuti uh, is Prashuti is the sister no 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 let's let's Prashuti is the sister of Uttanapad and Prashuti's uh, daughter is uh, Sati and uh, Daksha is uh, so Daksha is husband so ha uh, Fufa Fufa yes Fufa we say Fufa na we say in Odisha we say Pisa and Pishi so uh, like that <coughs> so Fufa So, are you see what happened to your fufa and everything? Maybe <laughs> uh, so. Uh, in this way, so don't do a desire for those who have done wrong to you, because ultimately you are going to suffer by that, right? And the second thing that this one, this is this is one understanding, the literal understanding, which uh, Shila Prabhupada is telling. We'll read, just read the translation. Translation by Shri Prabhupada. Shri Prabhupada, ki jai. She was also breathing very heavily, and she didn't know the factual remedy for the painful situation. Not finding any remedy, she said to her son, "My dear son, do not wish for anything or inauspicious for others. Anyone who inflicts pains upon others suffers himself from that pain." So this is the literal understanding that Shri Prabhupada is giving. विश्वनाथ चक्रवर्ती ठाकुर से मा अमंगलम तात परेशु ममस्था डू नॉट बिकम डू नॉट डिजायर एनीथिंग इनऑस्पिशियस फॉर समवन एल्स भूंगते जनो यद पर दुख दस्ता यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट यू आर नॉट सफरिंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ पर दुख यू आर सफरिंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ योर ओन दुख ओनली योर ओन क्रिएशन सो व्हाई यू आर ब्लेमिंग एंड व्हाई यू आर कर्सिंग समवन एल्स You have to curse yourself, कि अरे मेरा माथा खराब था। I I was only a mad person that I came to this material world and I have got so much of karmic reactions and that's why I am getting all these things. Correct? So this is another understanding that Bishwana Chakravarti Thakur is telling. But whatever understanding is, the principle that we are learning first is that the first impulsive reaction when someone does something wrong to us is that think some amangala for that person curse him or think something inauspicious <clears throat> but the vedic injunction is sarve sukhinah bhavantu sarve santu niramaya let my enemies be also happy let my friends will be also happy let everyone be happy especially my let my enemies be more happy so that they don't trouble me <laughs> so if you desire some amangala for your enemy then the enemy will be more disturbed and more disturbed enemy means more he will uh, become uh, uh, difficult to handle let all that's why uh, um, um, prahlad maharaj if you remember in narsim chaturdashi we were taking class <coughs> how prahlad maharaj was praying in the prayers of the jambudip section that uh, section uh, prahlad maharaj saying uh, swastyasu viswasya khala prasidata prahlad maharaj is specifically praying that o oh lord especially gives All swasti, all auspiciousness to all the khala people of this world. Now one may wonder, ki 
what type of prayer, prayer is generally we pray that oh lord please bring generally what uh, we pray to lord that oh lord uh, please bring auspiciousness to your uh, servants please bring auspiciousness to the devoted dharmasya what uh, we say uh, krishna says na yada yada hi dharmasya paritranaya sadhuna vinasaya cha duskrita generally we should say na oh lord paritranaya sadhuna sadhu jese hum jese sadhuon ko aap uddhar kijiye uh, and uh, un jese uh, everyone thinks that uh, he is a sadhu and the other person is a sadhu हम जैसे असाधु जो हैं उनको आप वो कीजिए यू यू डिलीवर साधु लाइक मी एंड यू एनी लेट द डीम लाइक मी बट प्रहलाद महाराज इज प्रेइंग समथिंग कंप्लीटली अपोजिट ही इज प्रेइंग स्वस्ति अस्तु विश्वस्य खला प्रसिदता लेट द विश्व बी इन स्वस्ति एंड एस्पेशली स्वस्ति अस्तु टू द खला to my enemies to the uh, people who are uh, of khala of wicked nature <clears throat> because if the wicked people are uh, uh, auspicious uh, situated in an auspicious way at least there will be less impetus for them to trouble others right like a snake generally if the snake is uh, g- no uh, uh, like is going on its own way and all those things the snake has all potential to trouble but until unless you there are some snakes will attack like some people are so khala recently i was hearing one uh, uh, lecture by his holiness radha govind swami maharaj <clears throat> so when i was hearing to so, uh, maharaj telling what is the definition of a khala purush and uh, how a khala purush works so uh, maharaj was telling about a story so the story goes that uh, one person who was staying in a uh, village that village was adjacent to a forest so this person was staying in that village and uh, he immediately left all his possessions all wife children everyone he left all wealth and everything he shifted to forest and everyone was shocked what happened to this person and he has gone imagine someone from a new town and immediately shifts to uh, the forest of sundarban so what happened why he has immediately shifted he has left all children wife uh, uh, property everything he left and he shifted to village uh, to forest so people uh, people were going and talking with uh, him and then uh, they asked him what happened why you did na what is your name some people were coming and asking those who don't know him so he t- introduced himself that i am khaleshwar i am the uh, ishwar i am the controller of all the khalap purush of all the wicked people now you are khaleshwar okay so why you have shifted to this forest and left all your uh, as if taking sanyas why you are taking sanyas now you see actually there are a lot of tigers in this forest and if i shift to this forest and i have uh, no ability to protect myself from the tiger so definitely within one month two month three months tiger will kill me and eat me now are why you want to be eaten by tiger now if the tiger eats me and gets the test of the human blood then the tiger will start attacking the entire village and in this way i will prove myself i am khaleshwar hare krishna so this is kala purush that he is ready to inflict pain upon himself to create a legacy of pain in the lives of others just see huh so we have to understand sometimes we be uh, uh, we may put tilak and we may put kanthi we may change our dress as a vaishnav but vaishnav is a disposition that suniti maharani is uh, queen suniti is speaking and the disposition is no matter how much ever others are insulting us and troubling us we should always think about good of others and and it may not happen at once 
it may not happen at once but at least we should be aware what is the right principle of being a vaishnava and if we are aware then may not be today or may not be tomorrow that within one year with the two years we at least can aspire and pray that i want to oh my lord i want to become a vaishnava and we see jesus christ and haridas thakur haridas thakur was beaten 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 and he was not dying and he was chanting hare krishna and because krishna was protecting him he was not feeling the pain also of being beaten so bad and then these people who are beating him became, started crying and haridas thakur asked why you are crying i am supposed to cry and i am not crying and you are crying now if you don't die then we are going to die kaji is going to kill us and because you are not dying and because we are thinking how we will die because of thinking how we are going to die that's why we are crying and haridas thakur says okay let me die and he meditated and he acted as if he is dead and then they threw him into ganges and reported the kaji that uh, mission accomplished he is dead so we have to understand a vaishnava's heart is always filled with good wishes for everyone for everyone and especially for the enemies especially for those who hurt us especially those who insult us a vaishnav should always think good about others think that let everyone be happy let everyone be happy let everyone be happy let especially those who have insulted me be happy because they have they are so special souls that they have come and are reducing my bad karma and also reducing my stay in material world your karma is reducing means you are close to liberation so a version of things that they are doing service to krishna <clears throat> helping krishna helping the material energy for me to get purified let them be happy so that's the first thing uh, that uh, suniti uh, devi <clears throat> is speaking here that never desire wrong to those who are doing wrong to you so now now the dhruva will uh, uh, say okay ma madam ma mata ji you are saying that let me not desire uh, for wrong <clears throat> then how how uh, i can uh, think like this it becomes very difficult your thought process is very illogical unreasonable right so uh, how we can do that so next verse comes satyam suruchya vihitam bhavan me satyam suruchya vihitam bhavan me yadur bhagaya udare grihita yadur bhagaya udare स्तन्येन वृद्धश्च विलाजते या स्तन्येन वृद्धश्च विलाजते या भार्येति वा बोढुमिदस पतिर्माम भार्येति वा बोढुमिदस पतिर्माम एनीवनस सत्यम सुरुच्या विहितम भवान मे सत्यम सुरुच्या विहितम भवान मे या दुर्भगाया उदरे गृहीता या दुर्भगाया उदरे गृहीता स्तन्ये न वृद्धश्च विलाजते या भार्येति वा बोढुमिडस पतिर्माम भार्येति वा बोढुमिडस पतिर्माम या ट्रांसलेशन एंड पर्पोट इज नॉट देयर सॉरी ट्रांसलेशन सुनीति सेड माय डियर बॉय व्हाटएवर हैज बीन स्पोकन बाय सुरुचि सो बिकॉज़ द किंग योर फादर डजंट कंसीडर मी हिज वाइफ और इवन हिज मेड सर्वेंट ही फील्स अ सेम टू एक्सेप्ट मी 
Therefore, it is a fact that you have taken birth from the womb of an unfortunate woman. And by being failed from her breast, you have grown up. <clears throat> so, Satyam Suruchya Bihitam Bhavanme. Of this entire sentence, the first pada of this verse, the uh, two words are very important. <clears throat> if you learn little bit of Sanskrit, then it becomes very easier to understand what are the emotions behind. Generally, the word Bhavan is used in terms of respect. A mother would not address a five-year-old child like this. Right? Will a mother uh, address the five-year-old child Bhavan? Bhavan is like addressed for gurus. Bhavan is addressed for uh, uh, the Lord. Or Bhavan is addressed for a respectable person. <coughs> Satyam Suruchwa Bhavan. O oh, Dhruba, you are very respectable. You are respectable. I do not deny about that. But understand, I am very unfortunate. Though you are respectable. Just imagine the nobility of Suniti. She is telling that Dhruva, you are a very respectable person. Satyam Suruchya. What, your, what Suruchi, your stepmother has said is Satyam. But somehow, you are though respectable, but because of your connection with such an unfortunate lady, Durbhagaya, that is your problem. You do not have any problem. You are spotless. You are a great soul. And Satyam, he is telling true that why you are putting any connection towards me and that connection is the problem. Actually, I am unfortunate. And I am so unfortunate, Durvagaya, that the king doesn't consider me as wife, doesn't consider me as servant, forget about wife. So you are respectable Dhruva and as a respectable person do not unnecessarily ma amangalam, do not do among, uh, think amangalam for your uh, mother, uh, understand it is not your fault, <clears throat> it is my fault that I am such an unfortunate lady and because I am an unfortunate lady, uh, that is why all these things have happened and you have drank the milk of an unfortunate lady. You have grown up from, uh, through an unfortunate lady. From my womb you have come. And that is the problem. And he is telling true. So the second principle is to accept the reversal on our head as our responsibility. That it has happened because of me, not because of anyone else. First is not to curse. Second is not to blame. You see, you remember the second thing that comes in anyone's uh, mind is to blame. Are, uske se hua. That person is responsible. That person is responsible. This person is responsible. This person. The second thing is that accept the responsibility on one's head that I am actually responsible for all this facade that is happening. I am the most unfortunate person. And by understanding that, I am a most unfortunate person. <clears throat> and it is true. It is true. How we are so unfortunate. Uh, can anyone say that how we are unfortunate? We have left God and we have come yes, to this Yes, we have left world. God. We have come to this material world. We are unfortunate. Yes, how we are unfortunate. Hmm. Okay, anyone else? How we are unfortunate? We are not getting the eternal happiness which is there in spiritual world. Yeah, we are not getting eternal happiness which is there in spiritual world. We do not have love for Krishna. Right? For someone who, uh, if you read Bhagavad Gita, for someone who is uh, uh, having love for Krishna, Krishna is telling, Advesta Sarva Bhutanam Maitre Karuna Evacha. You remember the verse? We'll recite that verse. Uh, Advesta, okay, Ankit Prabhu remembers the verse, I think he will recite the verse. 
Huh? Okay, it doesn't remember the verse. Okay, we will uh, recite the verse. We will search that verse first. So, Advesta Sarva Bhutana Maitre Karuna Evacha <coughs> Nirmamo Nirahankara uh, Sama Sukha Dukha Shami, like that, Sarva Bhutana, like it has come, yeah, see. The very famous words in uh, Bhagavad Gita. So we'll recite that verse. Okay, what it has come, I don't know. Hmm. It's very small. It's not increasing also font. Can we go back and see for a better option? Hmm. Advesta Sarva Bhutana. <coughs> Speaking Priyas ka. Okay, let's go like this. So, two verses from Bhagavad Gita I wanted to recite today. So, this is one thing. Uh, yeah. Let's come now. Advesta Sarva Bhutanam. Advesta Sarva Bhutanam. Maitra Karuna Evacha. Maitra Karuna Evasha Nirmamo Nirahankara Nirmamo Nirahankara Samadukha Sukhakshami Samadukha Sukhakshami Santushta Satatam Yogi Santushta Satatam Yogi Yatatma Dridanischaya Yatatma Dridanischaya Mai Arpita Mano Buddhi Mai Arpita Mano Buddhi Yo Madhbhakta Same Priyaha so, we are unfortunate because till now we have not got the qualification for becoming dear to the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Yo mad bhakta, jo mera bhakta is tara hota hai. Not that just you claim that I am a devotee of Krishna, you become dear to Krishna. You may be a devotee of Krishna, but you may not be dear to Krishna, you see. Yo mad bhakta same priya. First, definitely you have to become Devotee of Krishna, but not that is the only thing. You have to become priya devotee of Krishna, uh, that Krishna loves you. When, which devotee Krishna loves? Advesta Sarva Bhutanam. He is non envious. Sarva Bhutanam of all to all living entities. Maitra Karuna Evacha. He is friendly, he is compassionate to everyone. Nirmamo Nirahankara. Ye mera hai, ye, uh, ye tumhara hai. He is free from this. Nirahankara, mene se kar I have also done like this. Right? Nirahankara is, I have done like this. Nirmamo means, this is mine. Sama dukha sukha kshami. Sama dukha kshukha. I am completely peaceful in uh, dukha and sukha. Santushta satatam yogi. And like this, he is, all the situation is satisfied. And why, we are, why Dhruva, uh, I am unfortunate that when you came to me, I am also getting disturbed. And because I am not satisfied, that's why I am not dear to Krishna. And because I am not dear to Krishna, I am unfortunate. Yatatma adridhan ischaya mai arpita mano buddhir. He gives his mano and buddhi arpan. He puts his, uh, does the arpan to me. That devotee is very special. So, this is what uh, uh, our uh, um, yeah, this is what he said <coughs> that it is my accept the problems in our head that we are unfortunate, we have come to this world, we have left the Supreme Personality accorded, what we are going to expect is anything auspicious we are going to expect by living the Supreme Lord who is the supreme abode of auspiciousness that we are getting shocked why inauspicious things are happening in our life? We should be shocked that why auspicious things, some auspicious things are happening in our life. So, we should not be shocked when some reversal comes. We should be shocked when some prosperity is coming in material world. So, we should uh, think like this, uh, Dhruva, oh my son, uh, not just son, oh respectable one, Bhavan. 
ओ रेस्पेक्टेबल वन अंडरस्टैंड यू आर रेस्पेक्टेबल बट बाय बिहेविंग इन दिस वे यू आर गोइंग टू डिक्रीज द फेम ऑफ आवर फैमिली दिस इज अनदर मीनिंग ऑफ वाई Suniti is addressing. If you see the Sanskrit verses, <coughs> again we'll go through the Sanskrit verses. Satyam suruchya bhitam bhavan me. Oh, the respectable one, Dhruva, do not reduce the fame of your family. Right? It is me. It is me. I have come from a other family. I have come from a other family. We don't know what family uh, Suniti comes from. It's not mentioned. But I am come from a other family. You do not become uh, uh, disturbed by this. You are belonging to this family of Swayam Bhuva Manu, Uttanapad, and Brahma. I am from a uh, Abhaga family, and because I am from a Abhaga family, that is why your father doesn't consider me as servant. Also, forget about wife, Bhariyatiwa. Forget about Bhariyatiwa. Forget about being wife, Bodum. He doesn't consider me as servant only because I am from a Abhaga. So why you are reducing your respect and fame just because of my connection? You accept that. reality that may be because of your some bad karma you got connected with me as <coughs> uh, unfortunate okay dhruva say okay okay so uh, ma mangalam i should not desire wrong but he, she did something wrong so suruchi is tell, uh, suniti is telling that suruchi didn't do anything wrong to you you are respectable actually i am unfortunate Okay, then what? If I am respectable, Dhruva is asking. Next verse we will read. I, I am respectable. Then uh, uh, what is the problem? Why I cannot uh, sit like Uttama? Uttama is also sitting. If I am respectable, you are telling I am respectable. You are Abhaga. Then okay, I am not asking you to sit on the throne. I am asking I want to sit on the throne like my brother is Uttama is sitting. You see now the next what uh, Suniti is going to speak. उदवाक यदीच्छसे ध्यासनमूतमो यथा स्पीकिंग सच नाइस थिंग यू सी Uh, translation and purport by divine grace sri bhakti vidhan swami shila prabhupa shila prabhupad ki jai translation my dear boy whatever has been spoken by suruchi your stepmother although very harsh to hear is factual therefore if you desire at all to sit on the same throne as your step brother uttama then give up your envious attitude and immediately try to execute the instructions of your stepmother samatra without further delay you must engage yourself in worshiping the lotus feet of the supreme personality of godhead purport the harsh words used by suruchi to her stepson were true because unless one is favored by the supreme personality of godhead one cannot achieve any success in life man proposes god disposes Suniti the mother of Dhruva agreed with her co-wife's advice that Dhruva engage himself in the worship of supreme personality of God indirectly the words of Suruchi were a benediction for Dhruva Maharaj for, for because the influence of the step mother's words he became a great devotee the thanks the purport shila prabhu pad ki jai atishtat tat you see now he she is addressing tat because she is instructing previously she is addressing as bhavan oh respectable dhruva problem is not in you problem is in me 
then dhruva is telling oh i am respectable problem is in um, uh, you and not me so let me see why what is the problem in sitting me in the throne like uttama so tat o oh son don't become envious of uttama so the sec- third thing uh, uh, is that we should not become envious of those who are hurting us we should not curse them we should not become envious of them don't become envious <clears throat> uktam samatrapi yad avyalikam you understand your mata your su- suruchi what she has said is proper only aradhya adhoksha japada padnam he has said that adhokshat ka upasana karo worship the supreme lord you worship the supreme lord and by that asanam adhyasanam you will get the asanam uttamo yatha uttama yatha means like uttama and uttama yatha means more uttama than uttama you understand it so uttama means superior you will get there are two meanings of uttama one is you will get a asan like uttama or uttama yatha unse bhi uttama aapko asan mil jayega आराध्य अधोक्ष ज पाद पद्म इफ यू डू आराधना इफ यू डू वर्शिप ऑफ अधोक्ष ज पाद पद्म सो द थर्ड प्रिंसिपल इज नेवर बिकम एनवियस वर्शिप द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड एंड बाय द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ सुप्रीम लॉर्ड यू विल वॉट टू स्पीक ऑफ गेटिंग ए सीट लाइक उत्तम यू विल गेट ए उत्तम सीट यू विल गेट ए सीट उत्तम दैन उत्तम that is the so basically suniti if you see that she is giving three instructions so the so dhruva is disturbed by dad by swambhu <laughs> manu dhruva is not disturbed by mom dhruva is disturbed by dad so dhruva is disturbed by dad and suniti is introducing uh, dhruva to uh, real dad that is krishna so d a d dad the first principle suniti is speaking that never desire wrong to those who are doing wrong to you a uh, ma uh, ma amangalam ta so never desire amangalam never curse never desire amangalam understanding that um, uh, uh, let everyone be happy and how we cannot desire amangalam for someone who has done accept a stands for accept accept that i have been the most unfortunate i have done wrong things so two ways we have to accept we have ac- we have to accept that how unfortunate i have and we have to accept that i have done something wrong he, this person is just an instrument and the third one is never become envious and devote devote to supreme personality of god and the first principle of devotion to lord hari is to become nirmatsara and by devotion to hari everything will be achieved everything will be achieved you just don't become envious you want to achieve the post like uttama worship the supreme lord are if you worship the supreme lord you will get more uttama thing can anyone say uh, where in uh, bhagavad gita let's have it bhagavad gita quiz where in bhagavad gita krishna says to arjuna like this are worship me everything you will get everything you will get by worshiping me okay nahi nahi sarva dharman paritej 11 11 chapter 11 chapter hi jo na ki you will nimitta matra okay nimitta matra bhava sabhya sachin ananya chintayan to mam i'll take care of it. i i'm talking about material things material things भगवदगीताक so the eighth chapter of bhagavad gita in the end portion of the eighth chapter of bhagavad gita you will see krishna is speaking how a yogi ascends to the spiritual world how a yogi is waiting for the uttarayana 
uh, and uh, when the yogi passes in the you know, day time in the uttarayana this that so many rules regulations uh, uh, krishna says and everything and then the yogi goes to liberation and yogi gets this yogi gets that ye wo this thing and arjuna is thinking uh, i have no uh, concept of uh, now to it's dakshinayana because mahabharat war is in the dakshinayana it began in the dakshinayana uh, on the december month <coughs> yogi naam api sarvesham nahi nahi yogi naam api sarvesham is in the uh, sixth chapter so mahabharat is in the uh, uh, dakshinayana and arjuna is thinking my goodness i don't know i may die in this uh, battlefield in the dakshinayana and uh, uh, i don't know what i am i don't know i can die in the day time i may die in the night time i really don't know what i will do so arjuna is looking like this to krishna thinking my goodness oh krishna you are telling me to fight i may die at any time and now to uttarayana is not there how will i see the time huh so then this verse come which i think sama priya mati ji has put that verse vedesu yagneshu tapassu yattat oh why is this 8.8.8.28 ha 8.8 correct correct just we'll open that now from bhagavad gita so vedesh let me open otherwise you will not be able to read site now you don't know that verse <coughs> yeah this is the 8 This is twenty-eight. So the last verse <coughs> of this chapter. Yeah. Vedeshu yagne sutapa suchaiva. Hello. Vedeshu yagne sutapa suchaiva. Dane shu yat punya phalam pradistam. योगी परम स्थान मुपेति चाद्यम वेदेशु वट एवर बेनिफिट द वर्शिपर ऑफ वेदास दे गेट If you are reading the Vedas, then what benefit one gets? The worshipper of Vedas, can anyone say? Yeah, yeah. Huh? He gets lot of knowledge, lot of knowledge. Veda means gyan only, and one who worships Vedas and reads Vedas, he gets lot of gyan, lot of gyan. He is a he becomes a wisdom uh, gyan. So Vedeshu, yagya su, one who performs lot of yagya, what he gets? Why one performs yagya? Power, power, he gets power. He gets, huh? Benedictions. Benedictions. Yeah. Why one performs yagya? He gets higher planetary system. He goes to heavenly planets. That's the main reason. You don't you remember that story of the yagic brahmanas? They wanted to go to heavenly planets and enjoy. So do yagya for going to heavenly planets. So first is knowledge. Veda gives knowledge. Yagya gives ascending to higher planetary system. It gives a higher cool, higher janma in the higher planetary systems. <coughs> so <coughs> janma <coughs> and shruta both have come. Tapasu, what tapas tapasya will give? <coughs> what people? Power. Why do people? Ah, people get lot of power by tapasya. How Durvasa Muni got so much of power? How the Brahmanas get lot of power by tapasya, tapobal. Like you remember, Vishwamitra he was doing tapasya, tapasya, tapasya. He was putting Trisanku on the air on the heavenly planet because of the tapobal, and then his tapobal got extinguished. Correct? And then he could not do anything. So tapasya gives us power. So Veda gives knowledge, Yagya gives uh, ascending to heavenly planets, Janma. Tapasya gives power. Danesu, what charity will give you? अरे, what charity? पुण्यपल, 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 हाँ? Wealth, wealth, charity will give you wealth. Whatever wealth, all of you, whatever bank balance, all of you are having, is all because of the charity in previous life. 
बिकॉज लक्ष्मी इज चंचला चंचला इति लक्ष्मी एंड द वेरी फैक्ट दैट योर बैंक बैलेंस हैज सम लक्ष्मी दैट मीन्स दोज लक्ष्मी दैट यू हैव आर दोज लक्ष्मी दैट यू हैव गिवन चैरिटी इन प्रीवियस लाइफ दैट्स वाई दैट लक्ष्मी इज नॉट गोइंग फ्रॉम योर लाइफ बिकॉज सम चैरिटी टू विष्णु हैज हैपेंड एंड दैट लक्ष्मी दैट हैज कम टू योर लाइफ दैट इज नॉट कमिंग गोइंग अवे इज नॉट चंचला इन योर लाइफ is the lakshmi that is the result of your previous charities danesu gives you wealth so you have got wealth you have got knowledge you have got ascending to higher planet is some good janma you have got power yat punya phalam pratishtham by this the punya phala the result of all these things is you gets punya phala and what is the punya phala different things give different punya phala ved gives knowledge yagya gives ascending to higher planetary system tapasya gives power and dan gives wealth my goodness what else one requires everything is covered right atyeti tat sarvam isse bahut zyada matlab uh, one way of understanding is if one worships krishna krishna is telling here if you worship me then whatever quantity and whatever quality these worshipers the worshipers of vedas the worshipers of yagya the uh, the sacri uh, do those who are doing penance and austerities those who are giving charity whatever they are getting atyeti tat sarvam unse bahut jyada both in quantity and quality idam viditva i will give and plus yogi that bhakti yogi who is worshiping me param sthanam upayeti chadyam along after enjoying so nicely in the material life more in quantity and quality you will get the liberation also in this way krishna is glorifying bhakti uh, at the end of 8th chapter telling that uh, by just like here suniti is telling uh, uttama yatha you will get a superior position baba If you worship Pada Padma Madhokshaja, why you are becoming envious to this Uttama? You are become going to become more Uttama than the Uttama if you worship Adhokshaja Pada Padma. Atyeti tat sarvam idam viditva. When I give, I give a superlative. Can anyone say Vedesu tapesu, Vedesu yagyesu tapasu dhaneshu? All these things you get something. How by Krish, worshiping Krishna you get atyeti tat sarvam? In what way Krishna gives a superlative degree of all these things? What we are getting? Ah, uh, Prabhu ji, Krishna, so you have to. Ah, uh, let's discuss about material things. <coughs> let's discuss about uh. material things. Okay. Uh, not spiritual, because spiritual is the last line of this Bhagavad Gita verse. What is that last line? is that krishna is telling that you will yogi param sthanam upayeti chadyam you will get param sthan but you will also get a far superlative degree of what the vedic worshipers they are doing what the yagnik worshipers are doing what the tapasya worshipers are doing and what the charitable people are doing you are going to get a superlative degree of the benefits what they are getting so how a devotee gets a superlative benefit what what things uh, krishna gives मेटेरियल थिंग you see whenever vedic worshipers they worship they get lot of wisdom and the first thing that a person who gets vedic wisdom is becomes proud he wants to show off his knowledge so when krishna gives you vedic wisdom he makes you humble vidya dadati vinayam if you acquire vedic knowledge you will read you will read you will read then you will simply become proud because and arrogant because of your lot of knowledge but if krishna gives you knowledge or guru gives you knowledge then along with the knowledge will come humility 
एंड वेन नॉलेज कम्स विदाउट ह्यूमिलिटी इट ओनली क्रिएट्स प्रॉब्लम इन मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड सो वेन कृष्णा गिव्स अस नॉलेज ही गिव्स विद्या विथ विनयम एंड देन फले यज्ञ when the demigods or you try to do heavenly planets uh, you go to heavenly planets you will get heavenly planets but there will be so much of difficulty like indra is getting difficulty demigods are getting difficult but when krishna offers you some planet like krishna offered dhruva no demigod no mortal man of this entire universe even brahma cannot go to dhruva loka it is a spiritual planet in material world can you imagine so when krishna offers uh, wants to offer something which a yagnik follows they get krishna offers a far superior quality and quantity than uh, what the demigods and by you yourself doing yagya you see rupa goswami and sanatan goswami lord chaitanya mahaprabhu himself as krishna gave them knowledge definitely we, they are uh, Uh, they are the living entity they are not just living entities they are nitya siddhas from spiritual world but as a past time we see to learn that krishna gave knowledge to rupa and sanatan and krishna gave knowledge to so many personalities but they didn't become proud they always remained humble you see how rupa and sanatan they were so humble right so ved is ved will give you knowledge but when krishna gives knowledge he will give you knowledge along with humility vidya dadati binay similarly yagya will give you heavenly planets along with heavenly planets you will get lot of anxiety to maintain your position right but when krishna gave a position to dhruva krishna krishna there is no anxiety for dhruva about the position and then Uh, third thing tapasya by tapasya you get lot of power but when you get lot of power you get lot of enemies also correct that is the problem you get power people become envious they want to usurp your power and you give you get lot of enemies but when krishna gave power as you to yudhishthir and pandavas krishna ensured that there are no enemies right when krishna gives us power and then when krishna gives wealth <clears throat> it becomes your eternal wealth if krishna gives you something then will lakshmi leave you at all are my husband has told to serve this person my husband has told to serve this person i am not going to leave how how much i think the uh, greatest chest lady in this entire universe or in this entire creation is lakshmi and lakshmi if he sees instructed that i am telling you always remain with this person then who is uh, uh, why lakshmi will leave that person atyeti tat sarvam so krishna is telling that when i give i give in quantity and in quality a much higher category than those which you can acquire by your things so that is why don't become envious of uttama uttama has got from suruchi and you get from krishna and that what you get from adhoksha the pad padmam you will definitely it will be better and that's what suruchi is telling she is telling the truth so accept that truth and worship adhoksha <clears throat> and in the next two three verses he is going to say about the glories of worshiping adhokshaja in two three verses but this is the primary three instructions desire accept and devote so this is the right disposition for uh, going through reversals in life hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare so uh, we'll little bit of summarize that um, uh, especially the last part i want to s- summarize that how when krishna offers krishna offers of a far better superior nature <coughs> even material enjoyment uh, than what uh, and that's how we see as devotees we enjoy the food we enjoy the music we enjoy the uh, tours we enjoy 
actually much more in a far superior way even the material world than the non devotees yes forget about that as a brahmachari i enjoy much more when i go out i see people are so suffering and they have so much of wealth they have such beautiful wives what not they have they have bank balance and they are suffering so much that why this is this is the uh, this is the simply insignificant by product of the devotional service and that's what suniti is telling that pada padma madhoksha jo if you worship atyeti tat sarvam idam viditva i will give you atyeti tat sarvam ye sarvam all these sarva people who are the sarva people vedeshu yagneshu tapeshu daneshu all these sarva people will uh, se bhi jada adhik atyeti tat sarvam generally i don't take this verse in the bhagavad gita classes because um, uh, this uh, this is a bhagavatam topic <clears throat> some of the uh, things are little higher level for the bhagavad gita audience we generally take the 8th chapter as uh, uh, reincarnation and then go ahead to the 9th chapter but this is a very special verse in the bhagavad gita 8th chapter uh, where uh, krishna is speaking to arjuna like this in the last chapter please try to remember this verse वेदेशु यज्ञेशु तपेशु चैव दानेशु यत् पुण्यफलं प्रदिष्टं अत्येति तत्सर्वं इदं विदित्वा योगी परम स्थानं उपेति चात्यं वेरी सिंपल वर्ड्स यू ऑल कैन रिमेंबर वेरी स्पेशल वर्ड्स ऑफ भगवत गीता हरे कृष्ण यस एनी क्वेश्चन Nidhi Mataji wants to ask. Prabhu ji, we say it is the survival of the fittest in this world. Hmm. So how do what uh, Suniti was explaining to Dhruva Maharaj? How can we explain it to our children? Because hmm. they don't have a bit an iota. I mean, they it's they themselves are so competitive. and in the first place they don't come running to mother they handle it themselves yeah so how do we can uh, how do we inculcate this uh, you don't think bad about yeah. anyone so so yes. we should tell them the story of dhruva and tell that there is no one in this world who can be more competitive than dhruva and uh, let them at least for competitive purpose worship krishna narad muni telling that only narad muni ahead will tell to dhruva dhruva you are competitive worship krishna to satisfy your competition satisfy your ambition so tell them what's if, the problem if we say people to hmm. accept their fault they will start suffering from depression hmm ki pira hi galti tha wo baith jayenge yeah if you if you only say a and don't say the first d and the other d then people will be depressed but if you said the entire sutra d h d then you know then it will become dad you have to introduce them to real dad but if you just tell accept everything is uh, ordained by krishna and karma that's a karma is a very dangerous subject matter karma has to be always associated with bhakti gyana has to be associated with bhakti karma separate gyana separate tapa separate only will bring problems that's what we are discussing now vedesu yagyesu danesu tapasu so if you separate all these things ved vedesu read scriptures without bhakti read uh, have uh, yagya without bhakti all this will only bring suffering so that's why you are trying to do you take out karma a is basically your karmic reaction hai ki na accept your karma correct so if you accept the karma theory without bhakti devotion and without non envious behavior don't trouble others without the principles of devotion it will only bring misery and depression that's what you are telling you are certifying what we discussed in the class so that's why devotion is very very important the principle is karma can only have the right effect when it is mixed with bhakti gyana i will have the right effect when it is mixed with bhakti and uh, bhakti actually uh, it purifies 
the problems of karma purifies the problem of jnana purifies and gives much more than what karma can offer you karma can offer you uh, 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 offer dhruva little bit of planet and bhakti gave dhruva the highest planet though the result the purpose of bhakti is not to get the highest planet but bhakti will give you so that is why these processes karma jnana tapa dana these are all incomplete and creates only misery misery if it is not associated with bhakti okay yes sir yes punam mata ji and then कृष्ण So he will say, where, uh, then he will ask you, where is the planet you saw, Mama? And then it will become very difficult. He will say, Isro is sending Chandrayaan three, and you have to sit on the Chandrayaan three and go to the planet. Then he will say, yeah, that's true. So I what we have to tell, me, what we have to tell is that uh, you see that <clears throat> you are also living, speaking, and you have also mother, father. Similarly, the chicken also has mother, father. Chicken also, fish has mother, father. and uh, when i pinch you you get pain you will say yes i get pain so if you pinch the goat you pinch the chicken you pinch the fish it will get pain you take him to aquarium the fish is living and you put little bit of stick and the fish will be afraid and go away why is afraid because it is going to give him pain so you are going to get pain and he is also going to get pain so what right you have to give pain to someone else like that we have to explain about meat eating we do not have to tell higher planet lower planet you have to tell something which is able to experience you pinch him first kastuva yes, also i tell that only you have to tell you don't tell anything else and then who are eating me how can that be ha ah, so how can that be that is their problem like there are so many people who uh, who do so many wrong things na that is their problem but at least uh, if they are doing let them doing wrong but uh, we should not do wrong there will be always people we have to tell them there will be always right there will be always wrong sometimes sahars is notorious sometimes sahars is uh, very good right so similarly some there are some notorious children of god right but what you want to become will you want to become a mischievous children of god or good children of god like that we have to tell okay is this clear Hari Bol, Hari Krishna. He is he is sitting only. He is hearing. <laughs> Mama is getting trained to train me. <laughs> yeah, yes. Sab de sachi pro, then Udit pro, then Dev Malu pro. Yeah. Thank you. Hari Krishna pro. In mm. fact, uh, in the stage of Kali, it is uh, obvious to have different chin opinion. Mm. So we cannot get rid of that different chin opinion, or maybe Kala. Mm. Be it in workplace, be it in within the body, be it in family. Mm. So I just sharing the example of what has happened to one person who is not devoted. Uh, an example of my mm. corporate. Mm. Uh, there is a boss who is uh, always aggressive or maybe is passionate, mm. and his language is very bad. Mm. So he has abused an employee in mm. a word which is not acceptable in the corporate world. Mm. Then. Uh, the employee came to me and stated that look uh, he has behaved in a manner mm. uh, and i feel ashamed of it mm. i said look sir is yours because if you come to us mm. then either you will raise it in a written mm. one so that we can take action because mm. the ethics doesn't allow uh, anybody to behave in a way sir others should feel ashamed mm. he said no i will not uh, give a writing then i said uh, then why you come to us <laughs> i just for information So no, I have forgiven him. Mm. Age me that probably the person has not that kind of culture from his parents. Mm. He has he has been a mm. so it is up to him. I am not in. Mm. Yeah. So what is the question? Yeah. 
then i told him have you told the same thing to the person that uh, in in private mm. this is not the way mm. says no why uh, i should feel the same he changed his opinion mm. i said no it is not like that uh, now let him be arrogant at his own way let me let me do my job mm. you will get punished mm-hmm. i'll get elevated mm-hmm. because it is making me stronger Mm-hmm. now coming back he the person is not a devotee mm-hmm. he is uh, typically uh, doesn't practice case mm-hmm. krishna consciousness also but he mm-hmm. has told me that mm-hmm. now coming back to the devotee community when we uh, also hear that mm-hmm. being a vaishnava mm-hmm. we should not retaliate we mm-hmm. should not uh, you know uh, react rather we should uh, pray for his mm-hmm. you now wellness if mm-hmm. the person is like that mm-hmm. so maybe we also read that it can be our karma past karma that person is behaving uh, like this to us or maybe it is uh, mercy of krishna that uh, we are being purified how you look at uh, from devotee point of view because we have difference in opinion mm-hmm. that it may be a karma past karma which is getting reflected to me mm-hmm. or i should take it no i am a vaishnava let him be uh, in the mode of arrogance or audacity how he or thinks uh, right to behave with others he will get punished by lord by his karma okay so um, both the things a vaishnava should not think as the first thing is that a vaishnava more and more he thinks that <clears throat> it is a opportunity for me to take more shelter of krishna so a vaishnava more and more he is feeling in that way that whether it is a part of my karma whether it is a part of his karma or what karma i am surrendered to krishna and let me find how this situation can make me more closer to krishna so this is the outcome so there is one thing called input and there is something called a response and another thing called the output so this is how it happens first you get an impulse or an input then the, you respond to it particularly and then there is a outcome <clears throat> so today we are discussing about the response how a vaishnava responds he responds that whatever but the outcome is that vaishnava sees that how this situation will become a uh, 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 diving board for me to become more krishna conscious more devoted to krishna so that vaishnava uh, doesn't waste time too much in understanding whether it is my karma or his karma that is just a response and disposition it's a disposition it's a response of a vaishnava understanding of a vaishnava <clears throat> that either it will be my karma either it will be her karma or his karma or whatever karma anyway i don't uh, matter it doesn't matter for me karma karma is just to uh, pacify me karma cannot purify me the thought of karmas can only pacify me but it cannot purify me the only purification can happen when i worship the supreme lord so vaishnava doesn't dwell too much in analyzing his karma what karma neither curses or neither aspires and tries to too much dwell he is worried about his this situation how it makes him bring closer to krishna so that is why again i am repeating what nidhi mata ji was also asking the a is just a disposition it has no action it is just an understanding to pacify you in that situation but d is the most important one that we have to devote we have to see the reversal as an opportunity to become more closer to krishna and not try too much paralyzed by the analysis of how why the reversal has happened what karma bad karma i did try you know looking at the astrology chart try looking at the astrology chart of that person try which coast he which graha is there what mistake whether he is doing and not doing what karma he will get by uh, offending me or insulting me or troubling me whatever let that happen karma is just to pacify us for a period of little bit of time beyond that we have to do bhakti only karma cannot purify us so when we take karma as an action bearer it is just a understanding to pacify us it's not an action karma we really don't know so that's why we have to practice bhakti is this clear we have to see. so it, how a devotee thinks he doesn't too much analyze about karma a devotee thinks this situation how i can utilize it 
for coming closer to Krishna. That's it. Finished. That is his final statement which he carries home as the carry home message for the devotee. Okay. Yes, true. That means let by let bygones be bygones. Why to concentrate on yeah, things? What is happening? Yeah, which is yeah. not in yeah. Criticism is inevitable. The smoke is inevitable uh, from lighting a fire. You oh, do yeah. whatever. You are going to get some insults. You are going to get anything, right? And you are going to get some praises of this world. So let people speak whatever they want to speak. Let the karma happen. Let the demigods do whatever they want to do. I will utilize the situation for coming closer to Krishna. And how I can do that? If I am able to understand that very well, or else I consult my gurus and superiors, you tell me how I can make, make myself more closer to Krishna in this situation. Finished? Over. Okay. Thank you. Nice question. Yes, Udit Prabhu. Oh, gee, my question is, uh, I was just uh, meditating about uh, Suthi, uh, Suruchi, Sansuniti's uh, qualities. Mm. Like how wonderful uh, she is a lady that during such uh, uh, situation, she was able to give uh, nice instructions to her. Mm. Because we come from a background in family, there is always envious behavior, etc. Mm. And we also see uh, Lord Shiva behavior, uh, then Gajendra and uh, Vitra Surkatha. Mm. So they were all <laughs> such great personalities. get through tapasya there are so many organizations they tell you happy you think happily and then uh, and then uh, they will tell you how to uh, uh, do the tapasya of tolerating how to do the tapasya of humility how to do the tapasya so they take these qualities they try to develop these qualities through tapasya correct yes someone is hurting you but say tapasya i know it's a tapasya you uh, but tolerate it so I, from this verse there is some sound My is also with them. so uh, so there is uh, one uh, uh, thing that we are learning here that yes one thing is that we can externally through tapasya get these qualities another thing is just do bhakti mai cha ananya bhakti yogena krishna says about all these qualities when he says about uh, the 13th chapter krishna says about these are all knowledge and then Krishna says that uh, of all the qualities that I am telling you, o Arjuna, like uh, 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 some uh, um, Shanti, Rajavam, so all the simplicity, tolerance, all these things, of all the qualities, the first quality is Ananya Bhakti Yogena. If one does Ananya Bhakti to Krishna, all other qualities as secondary nature will develop. So one is as Tapasya we can develop tolerance, as Tapasya we can develop simplicity, your mind is telling, no, no, let me have a very extravagant life. No, 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 let me have simple. So, this is tapasya only. Another way is become more and more devoted to Krishna. Automatically, simplicity will come. That is easier way. And that simplicity will be uh, much of higher quality than the simplicity that comes from your tapasya. So, we do not have to worry. Suniti definitely would have done some tapasya, something or might have been a devotee of Krishna in previous life. That's why she is able to speak like this, right? Uh, so, uh, that is how we have to understand that uh, we do not have to worry that when these qualities will come, how they will come. We have to worry, am I surrendering myself to Guru and Krishna? Am I taking responsibility on the path of uh, Krishna consciousness? Am I taking commitments in path of Krishna consciousness? Then those commitments will give rise to all these qualities. Right? But And we do not have to feel discouraged seeing our situation right now. 
so uh, if krishna wants in last just one moment krishna can make us pure devotee and transfer us to back to godhead one person asked mm-hmm. shila prabhupad that how long it will take to be- become pure devotee prabhupad said one moment and this person th- thought that i think prabhupad didn't understand the question he said how long it will come as long as i am telling pure uh-huh. devotee pure devotee and this was prabhupad said one moment one moment it takes to become pure devotee but when that moment will come <laughs> you keep on practicing bhakti uh, without expectation that when krishna will bring that moment just practice bhakti and uh, always remain surrendered to the superiors that is one thing uh, and do the bhakti according to the guidance the superiors have given is always okay अरे बोल यस देव माल्य प्रभु हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी पहले बात सुना थैंक यू फॉर दिस वंडरफुल क्लास सो प्रभु जी आई जस्ट वांटेड टू टॉक अबाउट वन पॉइंट लाइक पीपल विल ट्राई टू ट्रांसग्रेस आवर प्रिंसिपल्स बट वी शुड नॉट ट्रांसग्रेस आवर ओन प्रिंसिपल्स सो नाउ इन हियर लाइक एज यू एक्सप्लेन लाइक ध्रुव महाराज इज मदर Sumiti Mataji, mm. she her quality is like totally different. Mm. Even he, she had not even done anything wrong, but mm. she is also telling like I have done mistake. I gave you the word mm. or something else, whatever she was telling. Mm. Now, yeah. Prabhu ji, I just wanted to ask one question. Mm. Like in previously, mm. when I was having a personal meeting with you, mm. okay, so you explained me like we should not tell about these kind of things about our own self. Mm. अरे मैं ही नहीं गलती किया हूँ जहाँ पे लाइक वी हैव नॉट डन एनीथिंग मिस्टेक ओके वी हैव दिस काइंड ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम वेदर वी डोंट हैव दैट प्रॉब्लम एंड ऑल ओके बट दिस क्वालिटी ऑलरेडी सुनी इसी मात लाइक ध्रुव महाराज जी मदर शी इज हैविंग दिस क्वालिटी एंड शी इज आल्सो टेलिंग एंड यू टोल लाइक शी ऑलरेडी uh got that path that she already went to the spiritual world after that mm. but now prabhu ji we are here in our in this material world right mm. now if we think all these things like this way like then our self esteem will go down mm. right then how we will be able to compete with the material people mm. so i am getting confusion in this mm. a point like uh, whether we always talk about these things uh, like like this way uh, with our own self or how to maintain this hmm. because okay. this quality can work only in the vaishnava aspiration right hmm. but we can't do this one with the material people hmm. then they will try to transgress those principles much more hmm. on our hmm. on us yeah yeah so um so if we have low the goal of our life is to have low material self esteem and high spiritual self esteem spiritual self esteem doesn't mean that you have only self esteem for your spirituality you also have the self esteem for your material things also but the word spiritual self esteem means that to understand that the material things that you have also in life is given by krishna is given to you by krishna for the pleasure of krishna for utilizing it for pleasure of krishna if someone is interfering with our material things and trying to transgress the right principles and a person who has spiritual self esteem should understand that these things are given to me by krishna to be utilized for his service so so a devotee when he goes out it's not that he is just allowing himself to get exploited by others that no i have come a devotee exploit me <laughs> i'm available <laughs> this is not a devotee and not the like outside people who goes also with a material self esteem that just see how i have got i have done this i have done that so many people try to trouble me but i have through my capabilities and talents sown and destroyed the enemies that is material self esteem 
a devotee goes with self spiritual self esteem understanding that all these things are given to uh, given by krishna to me and these are given by krishna to me for utilizing it in krishna's service so spiritual self esteem is not just about our self esteem for spiritual life spiritual self esteem is also self esteem about our material life but understanding that whether spirituality or material life everything is given by krishna and it is for krishna's service if i am able to remember some shloka it is spiritual self esteem if i am able to remember some code and i am able to code something in machine learning it is material self esteem but in both the case if we understand that whether it is remembering a shloka whether it is giving me power to behave humbly and gently with devotees being sensitive and loving and caring to devotees and perform devotional service or whether it is to perform material life everything is given to me by krishna that is spiritual self esteem so spiritual self esteem doesn't necessarily focus only on the spiritual life itself we have to understand that even outside things krishna has given me all these things and if someone is trying to transgress those principles spiritually we should try to retaliate there is a spiritual retaliation principle and the spiritual retaliation principle is that first we do not have to become envious he has become envious but i should not behave out of envy i have my superiors i can consult them what i need to do this person is envious <clears throat> how i need to uh, react so in this way there is a process of retaliation spiritually also which involves consulting superiors which involves praying to krishna <clears throat> for guidance which involves that uh, following and surrendering to what being spoken by our superiors so these are all spiritual self esteem so a devotee is not that who is available for the materialistic people to exploit and enjoy uh, but on the side ways devotee is not behaving like the materialistic people he always is ready to consult the superiors and take help and guidance and then follow right so you have best self esteem you are the best coder because krishna has blessed you with it right and when if anyone challenges your coding capabilities you can proudly say that your coding capabilities are because of your tapasya vedesu yagyesu tapayasu chaiva atyeti tat sarvam <laughs> i have got because of krishna idam viditva krishna has given me so this is self esteem of a devotee right atyeti tat sarvam yours are gangu teli and mine is raja bhoj raja is krishna and i have got his bhog his uh, prasad as uh, so in that way we should have real pride real self esteem that i am devotee of krishna who can trouble me panga nahi lene ka नहीं तो मैं तो कुछ नहीं करूंगा मैं तो डैड फॉर्मूला बोलूंगा मेरे गुरुदेव ने बोला है बट मेरे जो डैड है <laughs> छोड़ेंगे नहीं तुमको राइट अंबरीश महाराज वॉज फॉलोइंग द डैड फॉर्मूला वॉज जस्ट स्टैंडिंग बट सुदर्शन द वेपन ऑफ हिज डैड नारायण वॉज फॉलोइंग दुर्वासा सो दैट इज रियल सेल्फ एस्टीम राइट क्या wonderful past time and for person that the given and for wonderful questions and so many devotees have asked oh my uh, small little question like uh, you, you told like bhakti purifies tapa gyan and all that so like 
we are dealing in, uh, outside like uh, i read past times of shrimad bhagavatam and then there are like material benefits mentioned mm. in those past times mm. like gajendra if someone gets bad dream like if you read gajendra past time you won't get bad dreams and like mm. that so i was reading this pra- prayers of lord shiva in pachetas mm. and then it said at the end of it it said that if you read this prayer then you will get bhakti also and you will get this material benefit everything and you will be very nice mm. so it is okay uh, to personally like you know chant these prayers and uh, to outside like you know to people who are not in krishna consciousness like if we t- tell them direct chanting okay not coming but if we can just share this these prayers outside is it okay and will it help them also in bhakti yeah definitely <clears throat> the purpose why sukhdev goswami mentions the phala shruti in shrimad bhagavatam with some material motivations though shrimad bhagavatam is amalam puranam uh, sukhdev goswami is concerned about those people who have come along with parikshit maharaj to hear shrimad bhagavatam they have come with a material motivations also they are not pure devotee like parikshit so he is speaking to parikshit along with that he is also addressing those people that just see that you are all hovering around tapasu dhanesu yagneshu atyeti tat sarvam you are going to get much more benefit and quality and quantity if you worship krishna so give up give up your ved pathan give up your uh, yagna give up your tapasya give up your dana and come to shelter of krishna so uh, so that is a pralobhan right that is a pralobhan for those people who are following way the gyana tapasya <coughs> and dana but once we have come to the platform of devotional service we should not be worried about the phala shruti we should be worried about the stuti uh, that uh, the prayer the bhakti within that shruti and uh, we should try to uh, pray to krishna that oh when the bhakti devotion like gajendra will come in my heart when the devotion like kunti will come in my heart when devotion like <coughs> the gopis will come in my heart like that we pray now that oh krishna i have come whatever purpose whatever intentions we may have come we may have come but um, now i uh, let me practice with uh, right disposition so this can be a good pralobhan for people pralobhan means as an uh, uh, advertisement means benefit that one gets so people can come to krishna consciousness but people if they maintain this disposition of getting material benefits they will not stay on in krishna consciousness i have seen people who have this materialistic disposition towards spiritual life they don't stay on they come they stay for some time then go agama apaino <laughs> and they will come go back also they will not stay on those people who stay on stick to devotional service are those people who are ready to give up their material motivations for practicing chanting doing devotional service in the beginning we may come for mental peace but we should give up that no i don't want peace now those people who have uh, who have come with mental peace sometimes in iskon there are so much of services so much of services so much of services then they think are man i came for peace to iskon and these iskon fellows have taken away my peace then they will go away they will not stay similarly those who come for uh, uh, money and all those for krishna then these devotees will tell are give some donation give some donation then say are i came to increase my bank balance and these people are taking away my bank balance <laughs> huh? then they will also go being afraid are bahut donation mangte hain commercial ho gaya then they will say iskon is commercial then they will also go those who come for distress they have gone then they will some people they will come for gyan after some time every class you uh, you hear chant hare krishna solution to all problems are these people do everything is chant hare krishna only and do yad adhoksha ja pada padmam and how to do adhoksha ja pada padmam chant hare krishna so the gyanis will also leave if they continue to have material motivation and the curious people leave the first the there are four categories na artho arthartha jigyasu jigyasu leave the first 
जिज्ञासु आर द पीपल हु लिव द फर्स्ट उनका जिज्ञासा खत्म एक दिन में उनका जिज्ञासा खत्म हो जाता है वन डे देर जिज्ञासा इज ओवर ओ हो हो आई सॉ वाट वॉज इट वन पर्सन हर कम वाट वॉज इट द ब्लू कलर समथिंग ऑन द टॉप ऑफ आवर आश्रम वाट इज दिस आई जस्ट केम ओ हो हो ओ दैट इज दे केम टेक सम खिचड़ी एंड नेक्स्ट टाइम दे विल नॉट कम देर जिज्ञासा वॉज द वट इज दैट ब्लू कलर टेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ ब्रह्मचर्य आश्रम then they, their jigyasa got understood that it is a kitchen for the brahmacharis they got some mahaprasha then the pusha one one moment their jigyasa over that was their devotional service <coughs> and then they will uh, some people come with a jigyasa oh, how i am able to, not able to understand how iskon is able to attract all the big big scholars and everything what is there in iskon i said krishna is there krishna is makhan chor he is attracting everyone he is attracting gopis and uh, the uh, why not the iitms <clears throat> my, like my father will uh, ask that uh, how iskon is getting the cream of the society the cream of the society is going to iskon <laughs> i said yes krishna is makhan chor he will get the cream that is his nature yes so uh, so then, then they will go all jigyasu people are the first then the uh, 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 the gyanis are the last that's why krishna says that gyani are the best because gyani sustains at least for a little longer time in devotional service but gyanis also after some time na your gyan will be tested by krishna krishna will test your gyan and krishna test your gyan by uh, letting you short circuited by giving you instructions from your spiritual master which are completely beyond uh, logic this is how krishna will test your gyan and then they will leave are mere spiritual master doesn't know anything he is a gyani person i have become more gyani then he will leave the gyani leaves by offending spiritual master the jigyasu leaves because his jigyasa has got over the wealthy person leaves because telling that oh so much of donations is going what is you know i am doing these people are commercial they leave like that and the artha uh, artha people they will also leave <coughs> so similarly we may come with some pralobhan but you should give up that pralobhan and understand that bhakti is the essence going back to godhead serving krishna eternally is the essence so shrimad bhagavatam also <coughs> in certain situations sukhdev goswami is giving that pralobhan just to tell you atyeti tat sarvam that you are going to get much more don't aspire for all these tiny puny things of the material world okay does that answer your question so there is nothing wrong but we should clearly speak that is fine till bhagavad gita level that's why we have a clear separation bhagavad gita and bhagavatam class bhagavad gita is atyeti tat sarvam vedesu gyanesu tapasu danesu whatever you worship krishna you will get everything but bhagavatam give up everything and worship only krishna so that is why shrimad bhagavatam is amalam puranam is it clear does that answer your question okay personally i saw that uh, these uh, phalasruti do work i had also asked one person who was to get lot of dreams i asked said to him that uh, read this gajendra moksha he didn't got any dreams so it works okay yes sunita mata ji and sarija mata ji sari krishna prabhu ji thank you yes thank you uh, prabhu ji i always get confused uh, like when to stand myself for justice and went to mm. go to krishna yeah. to seek justice correct ha huh. very nice question actually very nice question it's it's a very very confusing affair sometimes and I, because our, our acharyas have taken both the stands sometimes our acharyas have stood for justice like anything like no one can dare to think that you have to stand for justice like this and and many times our acharyas and mahajan Uh, have shown such paths that no one can dare to think like Haridas Thakur, how you know, getting beaten up like Jesus Christ, being being hanged. So our acharyas have shown both the extreme of yes. things. So then uh, becomes very confusing. So that is why we should be uh, behave based on our adhikar. Our uh, adhikar means. 
how much we'll be able to digest how much tolerance we'll be able to digest we should not externally behave that i am very very tolerant devotee if you are not able to tolerate express it in a proper way proper channel otherwise the dam of you know that flood water of negative emotions that you are damming within the heart i am nice devotee tolerant devotee tolerant devotee and the dam is there dam is there and then one time that swiss gate will open and then entire the city will be flooded entire association of devotees will be thinking what happened to this mata ji why is he behaving nice so this mata ji is putting the dam so that is why we should act based on our adhikar scriptures give the entire spectrum they give how dhruva behave dhruva will see ahead uh, narad muni will tell what you are telling only be peaceful dhruva why you are angry be peaceful dhruva says to narad muni you are speaking beyond my adhikar i cannot be peaceful i want to stand for justice he told did like this to me i want justice if you can tell me how to get justice in the proper way tell me otherwise i will find out how to get justice from the right person so if we are confused we should understand what is my tolerance level let let us not be faking if i am not able to tolerate then let me stand for justice if i am able to tolerate how much ever i am able to tolerate let me just tolerate it like dhruva clearly told narad muni that i am not going to tolerate the words of suruchi my mother said that if you are not able to tolerate don't become envious of her but worship krishna and you get something and so to her atyeti tat sarvam i have got much more that is the intention why dhruva went to forest we will see ahead he was not going intention to worship vishnu he was going intention to to so to uttama and to suruchi that uh, i have got much more than you so but he was very honest he was not dishonest so that is why honesty is a very important thing so uh, we have to be very honest if you are not able to tolerate there is a right channel to tell that i am not able to tolerate prabhu ji your behavior is beyond like i have spoken so many times i have called that prabhu ji my superior also i have called ki prabhu ji i am not able to tolerate maybe uh, you are uh, expecting much more from me which right now i am not at that level maybe after 20 years of devotional service i'll come to a level of tolerating uh, this but right now i am not able to tolerate please behave in a way that i can tolerate right so we have to be very honest if you are able to tolerate tolerate if you are not able to tolerate express but there is a way to express if you can express to that person directly it's fine if you are not able to express then consult your superiors tell him that i am not able to tolerate the way he is behaving right so seeking justice is important based on our adhikar so then confusion is gone confusion will go when we are honest don't try to fake i have become such a great soul because seeking justice is not wrong because our acharyas have shown both the paths our acharyas have sought justice very nicely <coughs> like bhima <laughs> and our acharyas have shown like yudhishthir so bhima is also pure devotee yudhishthir is also pure devotee arjuna is balanced he is also pure devotee nakul sahadev whenever they see whichever side krishna is joining they will just <laughs> follow so our acharyas have shown everything they have shown the balanced way like arjuna they have shown the bhima way they have shown the yudhishthir way completely illogical in not seeking justice completely illogical yudhishthir if i would have been with yudhishthir maharaj i would have matlab <laughs> really really become angry and that's how draupadi would become angry bhima would become angry but arjuna would be balanced so in that way our acharyas have shown all the three paths and all are pure paths but they have not tra- they have not transgressed the um, principles they have always taken the right 
seltar yeah don't worry so you want to sometimes we follow the bhima way sometimes we follow the yudhishthir way and sometimes the arjuna way but don't follow the duryodhan way that's what scriptures are telling okay hari krishna jai shri la prabhu pad oh sorry sarja mazu ke has a question hari krishna prabhu ji ha prabhuji my question is like i am only confused to ask that is why i have to ask hmm. uh, sunita so mata is considering with sunita mata ji question hmm. so prabhuji today class i was not able to understand properly like uh, डिफिकल्टी we can tell you to fight you, 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 see no one is telling to fight no one is telling not to fight but we are just telling to fight religiously we can give example of bhagavad gita that so they fought mother is telling i am only wrong mere karm mere janam mere karm that is the reality that is true that is that is ek devotee ke man mein hi rehta hai jo bhi kuch ho raha hai hamara karma hai Hmm. Like we cannot say these to the materialistic people, and we cannot say. We cannot. Today's point. today's class is not for materialistic people. You have to understand. Hmm. And as far as uh, you do not consider yourself as Suniti and your son as Dhruva and uh, uh, like that. So first of all, we are not Suniti, and even if we are Suniti, if our son is not having the qualities like Dhruva, then we do not have to tell. Uh, that uh, they have to tolerate we are not telling to tolerate we are just telling that it is your karma now how to act you have to act religiously so okay uh, you uh, you don't you cannot tell that uh, perform devotional service to krishna but we can, can we not tell that do and seek justice on a religious way in a religious way that we can always tell we should always advise our kids that not to be irreligious and if they are telling that no mama whole world is really religious and they are adamant then you then we have to tell them. at one point of time we have to tell your kids baba you take your decision i am not going to interfere in that but your decision your responsibility but what i feel is that re, uh, the uh, the path of religion the religious way the principles have never to be destroyed just because he has destroyed a principle that doesn't give me right to destroy the principle but i have all right to seek justice and seek justice in the right way so the point is if our kids are too adamant that uh, they want to follow the irreligious path of uh, seeking justice then we give them uh, 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 our blessings without taking any responsibility what we can do yeah what we can do dhruva <coughs> maharaj was not irreligious Dhruva Maharaj was not irreligious. I am not telling. Dhruva Maharaj was yes. being asked by. I am not, uh, not telling that we should teach our children to fight for fight for justice. I am telling. I am also. Don't give it to Krishna. My question is this. Uh, what? Fight for justice. Don't leave it for Krishna. Is huh. it the wrong understanding? So uh, no, fight for justice by leaving it for Krishna. If you don't get mercy of Krishna, you will not be able to fight for justice only. If you are, if if we do नहीं, not. नहीं मेरा question ये ब्रह्मू जी कि हमें अपने हक के लिए लड़ना चाहिए हमें भगवान की प्रार्थना करनी चाहिए लेकिन हमें बैठ नहीं जाना चाहिए वो छोड़ के अपना हक कि भगवान हमें देंगे सब कुछ. 
my point is find, even if you fight is it a wrong understanding yes it's whatever. a wrong understanding because even if you fight and and do not aspire for uh, uh, krishna's protection then you will you will be uh, defeated like hamare uh, father of pratap rudra maharaj <coughs> purushottam de he went without taking permission of jagannath and he fought to protect the esteem of jagannath but he got defeated and came back so the point is i am not telling that we need to not fight but we have to fight seeking protection of krishna if you do not get protection of krishna we will be lost in fight also so don't think that suniti is not telling dhruva to fight suniti is telling dhruva to fight in the way that time it was possible he is telling go to forest worship krishna get get blessings from krishna that's what that's what that time people were doing any king would want power he would go to forest worship krishna that was the power that was the time that was a nomen kelechar so don't think that suniti is not telling dhruva to fight back he is just telling don't become envious fight back in a religious way so we can also tell our kids that fight back in a religious way surrendering to krishna because only krishna will give you the strength to fight back and will also give you the victory at the end of the fight back just like krishna gave arjuna so uh, you we do not have to tell our children to be paralyzed <coughs> uh, citizens paralyzed people we have to fight back but there is a way to fight back right we cannot uh, we have to advise them not to use any slang words or involve in dirty politics and all those things we have to tell them to follow the religious method and after fighting back in the proper way if our children still get uh, uh, failures then we have to tell them again that look you see this is your karma last life i might have done please now peacefully worship krishna because we really don't know krishna has such plans <laughs> what we can do we may fight back after like sometimes some people are cheated by someone else they go for court cases this and that and all those things even after all doing that they don't get justice then what we have to do atya at prayas we have don't have to do uh, rupa goswami says that we cannot do prayas over endeavor for justice over endeavor for getting anything material we have to give up we do some prayas and we get result very nice if we don't get result then we understand that wo dhan wo cheating hone wala tha leave it let me practice whatever i have we are able to understand Yes, that we we have to advise our children that not to do prayas over and over for anything of this world right yeah. and but it's not that we do not have to endeavor but after doing endeavor also we may not get justice that's how is that right that's how the yeah. world is designed you see how much time draupadi got to get justice so many years she has to wait Uh, but she definitely got justice but draupadi never changed her noble character even after before the war she was noble after the war she was so noble in dealing with dhritarashtra in dealing with kandhari so we cannot sacrifice our nobility just for getting justice we cannot become a hiranyakashipu just yes, to yes. get justice we have to remain like prahlad and seek justice in a prahlad way okay yes sir you have to tell our kids to become prahlad and dhruva yes sir okay all yes, the sir. rest and prabhu ji one request hmm. this like today's class na hmm. the way suniti is like training has started and hmm. this is much needed in our society hmm. so it's really thoda elaborate class first let us as devotees understand this ha for us only we so have to don't be so much nija janma sarthak kari kar par upakar so if <laughs> we we as devotees set the right example in the society people will and whether the society understands this not understands this what we can do whether our family members understand this not understand this whether my husband understands doesn't understand wife understand doesn't understand. i understand 
whether my disciples understand whether you have understood today's class or not i understand so yeah. i am going to follow it so like that so we should think that i i i let me change society yeah. will remain in material world will be going on do you think that if i you and all of us dasos me family we go to spiritual world the material world is going to stop it's going to remain there will be high court will be there supreme court will be there and uh, yeah, politics will be there prime minister will be there everyone and then satyuga will be coming then treta yuga will come dwapar yuga if you want to see further satyuga further dwapar yuga further kali yuga and see how the society is transforming by <laughs> you see the transformation <laughs> you stay here to see the transformation how your uh, uh, example created and cascade of transformation in the lives for centuries together <laughs> <laughs> but we are not interested in witnessing the transformation we are just interested in going back to godhead the society will be going on as it is going on some transformation will come some may not come like we do not have to wait to see i want to see how iskon will transform after 100 years after 200 years after 300 years after 500 years is con will transform or not transform let me transform and transcend to the spiritual world and then those who would be the responsible members of is con it is their responsibility to carry it forward right uh, we have we have to have that way to give up the responsibility to the next generation and go ahead <clears throat> we cannot be behaving like a, a materialistic person uh, behaves with his business thinking that oh this is preaching is my business how how i will what how whether preaching will go on after i leave the uh, this world are preaching will go on not go on you go <laughs> and what transformation will happen in the world because i lived such a life if you want to see the transformation you have to stay here we don't want to even see the positive transformations that will result from our positive life we just don't want to do anything give or take of this material world this is bhirna prakriti astadha krishna has already tell it is bhirna prakriti just like what is bhirna prakriti from a human being stool urine the sputum do you, uh, after <coughs> after doing like this do you see it how it is looking how so nice sputum has come out how nice stool has come out from our body no sensible civilized personality will do like that it is bhinna prakriti so when we have our prakriti which is bhirna we it is abominable but but krishna is purnam om purnamada purnam idam purnat purnam udachyate because krishna is purnam his bhirna prakriti is so beautiful this is bhirna prakriti only of krishna this bhautik prakriti is bhirna prakriti our bhirna prakriti is bhinna it is abominable but krishna's bhinna prakriti is also very beautiful but still we have to understand this is bhirna prakriti of krishna and we we have to understand this whatever husband wife children uh, justice <laughs> and the transformation that happened in my children's life by my good advice sometimes a guru can have just see how my disciples are transforming by me and i will remain to see the transformation in the life of disciples that is also a bhirna desire real desire is to go back to god and give up this world give up this abominable obnoxious world and definitely if you give it up that example will let others to give it up others are simply playing with stool sputum and urine this that is what uh, uh, this world is and uh, oh and what is seeking justice sorry to say seeking justice is oh he took away uh, 300 g of my stool Uh, i had 500 g and he took to away my 300 g of stool and i have now 200 g so i i filed a court case that my 300 g stool is gone this is what we are doing in material world sorry to say 
that my 300 gram stool is stolen hello i have to put a put a court case on uh, that uh, person who stole my 300 gram of stool so if you understand this fact then we'll not be waiting seeking uh, too much thinking what transformation will happen uh, by seeking that justice seeing how my generations are going ahead and because i fought for the justice like people say na i fought for the justice and i created a legacy of greatness i gave that independence these are all you know just like you know someone stole uh, stole away your stool and uh, you are fighting for that stool that is what we are doing here in this world and everything else is simply dhirna prakriti okay but probably like i have one thing uh, mm. to add but for what about like you are talking about the justice right mm. but what about those people like if you see in our north indian part like rajasthan haryana mm. bihar okay mm. up they uh, are like in the villages mm. so many wrong thing happens with the women mm. and with the poor people mm. okay the government only they are doing mm. so many wrong like mm. you can understand like what are the wrong yes. things they are doing Okay, if you go to the villages of this state, mm. and they are also talking about the caste and religion and religion. Mm. Now, what about the justice for them? Even those people also doesn't get the justice, but they deserve that justice, right? Yeah, they deserve the justice, and we should deserve the the response. If we have that authority and responsibility to do that, you do that. We should not be like a uh, person in the adda nukkad drinking chai and speaking about the problems of Rajasthan. if you are really a man worried about the women's protection go to rajasthan stand in front and do something don't be a speakomania yesterday i had gone for a seminar in a company speaking about speakomania you know speaking 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 like one person came to me and said ki what is con is doing for uh, the other people the poor people you are spending so much of money i said what you are doing for poor people have you fed one poor in life till now first go and uh, feed one poor people per day then come to iskon and tell what we are doing then we'll hear from you don't speak rubbish so we do not have to become speakomania if you do not have that authority do not have the power let's not speak on it and if we have the authority utilize it if you have authority to protect some uh, women you protect them you have authority of protecting 10 women at least in your family protect that and speak you see I, this is the woman in our family and you in, introduce everyone to you, uh, uh, your mother to your uh, sisters and everything and let them speak that how we feel sheltered how how we are respected and seeing that others will take your example just speaking and doing nothing has no value and if you are so that person is you go to rajasthan go to that those states or whatever i don't know what i am not in touch in news or anything but don't speak big 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 lectures and doing nothing so we have to if you, if you are that's what i am telling our adhikar is there or not i was telling sunita mataji na if our adhikar is there we must utilize it that is given by krishna i am not denying that but even after utilizing it even after protecting the uh, lower caste protecting the women what knowledge we will give to the lower caste and the women or whatever they are being exploited we have to give them the knowledge get out of this material world today i protected you but who will assure tomorrow's protection no one assures so be intelligent somehow krishna has sent me for your protection but don't think don't have a glamorous outlook about material world you will remain unprotected so best is take shelter protection of krishna yad adhoksha ja pad padma so the point is uh, we have to protect but with knowledge not in ignorance telling them that vipadam uh, padam padam vipadam this material world is every step there is vipad and this material world is simply bhirna prakriti of the uh, krishna so don't hide the truth from people to people like am i hiding to all of you 
all of you are grihasthas but i am openly telling this family husband wife children everything is part of the bhirna prakriti but I, though i am telling the truth but i am telling you how to deal with the truth not that because it is bhirna prakriti immediately leave it but we have to understand we have to leave it and go to spiritual world forget about living now 30 30 40 40 years before when we are not married now we don't know who was our wife children father mother and for 30 40 50 60 years we get some father mother wife children and this is how the bhinna prakriti is so we should understand the reality act in the reality but we should never Uh, go against the religious principles of the world. If it is required to seek justice, we must seek justice, but in knowledge. Yes, get justice, but worship Krishna, because Krishna can give you eternal justice. Dev Malya, I gave you justice. Dev Malya should say, I gave you justice, but this is temporary justice. Tomorrow, someone else will come and exploit you. I may be dead and gone. but worship krishna and go to vaikuntha a place where no anxiety is there no one will exploit in vaikuntha okay and if you want any help how to go to vaikuntha i am ready to give you so like that okay yes sir hari ho hari krishna jai shila prabhu pad ki jai vaikuntha arohan ki jai Alex